Hello, this is Chris Kettenbach with Falcon Technologies. Today we're going to do a tutorial on snap and seal connectors. And we're going to actually terminate an RG6 cable using the F connector. Again, this is a snap and seal connector. It's a compression style. It actually has an O-ring for O-ring for uh, weather. The tool itself. It's got a wire stripper in the back, and it actually does the uh, compression in front. First you're going to start off and you're going to actually push your, the uh, wire stripper down and put your cable in. And it's got a wire stop on the back so you know how far to put it in. You let go of the spring, give it about three turns, and this is where you, you don't just pull the wire out because it'll leave all the uh, insulation in the tool. Go ahead and compress that, then pull it out. Otherwise, you'll be digging this insulation out of there for about 15 minutes. Go ahead and remove all the insulation. Now, for some reason, Snap and Seal decided to put the compression bushing already pre installed in the back. It used to actually attach it to the side, and you'd snap it off, put it on first. I find that if this is installed here, as you put it on, it starts to compress immediately and it's a real booger to get this actually all the way onto the uh, wire. So I go ahead and just pop it off and install it on the cable first. Let's go ahead and let that slide down. So now you have to deal with is the actual F connector. I got this really cool little hand tool to put the connector on. Saves your hands, saves the walls, saves everything. Go ahead and put your wire in the back of the connector. And these take quite a bit to get on completely all the way in there. Go a little further. May do this off camera to get a little leverage here. Okay, that's better. What you want is you want that center white insulation flush with the bottom of the of the F connector that actually screws in. With that flush, you got your center conductor coming out. It actually sticks out at the end of the connector. And that looks pretty good. Now I go ahead and slide my bushing back up, the compression bushing, and get it into position. Now I'm going to take my tool, and slide it in like that, and give it a squeeze. Sometimes you got to turn it a little bit. There we go. And there we are. One completed snap and seal connector. You got any questions? Give us a call. 314-994-9066. Thank you.